This is a close-up of a circuit board uh, that was in a DRO, and I did another video on fixing the DRO, but I just wanted to show you kind of what can go on with a circuit board when a battery leaks, and there was a, there was a uh, capacitor on the other side of this that leaked, but I think the battery, which is connected here and here, it's on this other side, here's the battery right there. I don't know if I can turn it where you can see it. But this side right here is where the corrosion came out of the battery. So I'm going to remove this battery and replace it with a different thing. That's in the other video. What this one's about is how to clean up the problem behind. Now when I first started working on this I wasn't really planning on doing a video and I stopped and thought well maybe I should. And so it was covered with this green stuff, but it was puffed up because it had all this blue stuff up underneath it. And the way I got most of it off was just taking a piece of plastic and scratching it off of there. You can also take something like a toothpick. And a lot of times, work it off. These are the stubborn spots that were left. There was a little piece right there. You can also see it's around these and when you're repairing this you want to get rid of all of this because it kind of works like a it kind of infects the rest of it makes it come back I can see I'm gonna have to get something a little stiffer to get that off of there now this is an exacto knife and you gotta be really careful with this because you can scratch off the copper But it'll get it'll get down in there and get rid of that stuff. And you can see it was on this little trace right here. And that's one that I would be really careful about scratching with a piece of steel like this, because you could rub that trace off super easy. Okay, I think that's got it pretty clean right now. So the next thing I'm going to do is, so when a battery leaks, it's alkaline. So you want to clean it up with an acid. And so I'm going to use a little vinegar, which is a weak acid, to do that. And I'm just going to put it on a Q-tip. And I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to clean those areas. All right, sorry, y'all. I bumped my camera, so it's wobbling just a little bit. But, so you're going to come in here and clean those areas that had that green stuff on them with this vinegar, and that'll get off the last little bit of residue of it. Okay, but now you don't want to leave that acid on there. So, we're going to take a little bit of baking soda, and so what you do is just take your Q-tip and dip it in water, and then dip it in baking soda. We're going to come back and we're going to clean these areas with baking soap. And that's, that neutralizes the acid. Then I'm going to go rinse all this off. Okay, so there we are, nice and clean. And I soldered in my wires for my uh, external battery that I'm going to use. And now, to protect that copper, I'm just going to take some clear fingernail polish and come in here paint over the top of it. That will just keep moisture and keep the air away from it. Sorry I bumped the camera again. <laughs> it's uh, wobbling a little bit. But anyway, that should get my problem fixed. I hope this was helpful to you. Thank you for watching.